ya. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Happy Saturday. Happy Saturday, May indeed. First, can you believe that, Paula? It is May first already. That's so insane. I cannot I believe, believe it. I can't believe it's May. I feel like it was literally just Christmas, and suddenly it's May. <laughs> I know it's so nuts. It's just flying by already. Fifth month of the year, easily. It Wild. is going fast. Um, I hope as everyone is waking up this morning, you notice that uh, you have your member statement in your email. Um, I sent those at about one uh, thirty last night or this morning, two o'clock. So if you didn't get your member statement, shoot me an email. I'll make sure to get it over to you. So. Um, but yeah, end of the month yesterday, which went smooth and everyone should have a nice little email in their inbox today. So, uh, anyways, thank you all for jumping on today. Really appreciate it. As you can tell, we're a little bit different locations. Paula's, uh, we're kind of getting ready for, um, some fun activities that we have going on today. So we're on kind of a, some different sites, uh, getting in, uh, preparation. So, uh, so Paula's here. I, I, myself, Jason Kamada, I'm here. Uh, excited to kind of run through what we got in the uh, in the near future here. So let's let's dive into it. Um, COVID update. Just to remind everyone, we're still in phase two. Um, the governor will make an announcement. I think on Monday, probably usually late afternoon or late morning or early afternoon on uh, the decisions for the upcoming counties. Uh, but we believe that uh, I think we're going to probably stick in two. Um, but, uh, we'll see what the next judgment day, uh, which I think is the 20, uh, 24th or something like that. We'll see where we are then, but, um, look at our metrics. We should, should be able to stay in phase two, hopefully. Um, but just a reminder, masks need to be worn at all times. Uh, every time you're on property, obviously I'm not on property today, uh, or at least at the moment. Um, but, uh, you need to be wearing your mask, even when you're working out. I know that's the challenge. Uh, I know that's the frustrating part, but uh, unfortunately that's the way it is right now. Um, I know CDC came out with some new guidelines, uh, in regard to vaccinations and people that are vaccinated. So I know Blue Star and Shea Homes, they're all working with their teams to, to define those, uh, those statements and to, uh, clarify them for us uh at, at all of our clubs so hopefully we'll be able to see some new guidelines and and uh, uh hopefully a little bit loosening of restrictions uh, but we'll see uh at the moment we have to hold steady with what we have and and uh but we will adjust as soon as those that information comes available uh weekly event review paul what would you do this week it seems like you had a busy week this week I did have a busy week, but it was a really fun week. We had our first inaugural pet parade in honor of pet stock. We had eight members come out. We had dogs from every size and shape and color. We had little French bulldogs and we had some poodles <laughs> and it was just, it was a blast. Um, I have to say, I was impressed with those tiny dogs and how they kept <laughs> up with the big dogs. They got their workout <laughs> in. It was great. Um, we had some great people out enjoying the parade. We really lucked out with whether the cherry blossoms were starting to bloom and the mountain was out. And it just, it doesn't get much better than that in my book. Yeah, it, it did look like it was a great day. You know, I think we were just short of a dozen people were out there and uh, everyone with their with their pets. It was really great, great to celebrate Pet Stock Week. Um, and uh, I love having the, the streamers out there, I see. It, was, it was great to see everyone out there having a little fun. 
upcoming yeah, events. Great. So I know, I, I, I don't know uh, Paul's going to be able to see these, but uh, I'll, I'll kind of highlight them and then Paul will fill in with uh, some more details of it. But we on uh, May 4th, uh, which is typically a little little play on words, we have our uh, Star da, Wars da, movie night. Da, what are we doing for that, da, Paula? Da, 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 da. It's Star Wars night. <laughs> I'm excited. We're going to watch A New Hope. We're going to have the mantle menu available. So if you want to grab some food or some beverages, um, I'm really excited. I love Star Wars. I can't wait. It's going to be fun. Yeah, it should be should be really good. We're we're excited to kind of offer that. You'd be right there in Hawk's Nest, be able to watch the movie, um, have a little food, it'd be perfect. And then uh, that following Sunday, uh, it's a celebration for Mother's Day, and uh, we're gonna be celebrating in a couple different ways. One is obviously we're gonna be celebrating the moms, and uh, I always appreciate uh, the mothers and and everything that they've done. Um, but we're also going to be doing our first buffet, which would be the first buffet we've offered in, um, a year, over a year, I'm so uh, I don't know, a year and a half, but 15 months. Yeah. It should be really cool. Uh, we're coming up with a unique way of doing it. So you're going to see just a different style than what you've seen in the past. Uh, so we're excited. We love to kind of try new things and do things different. So it'll be really good to get Mother's Day. I know we've got a probably 80 already, uh, booked up. Um, I know, uh, reservations are, are running out and we got, you know, a week left to get those in. So if you have not made your reservation yet, uh, call the concierge, they'll get you booked on, uh, on a reservation system and, and make sure you got a spot to really, you know, uh, enjoy the buffet. I mean, there's prime rib on it. We got prawns on it. I mean, Dino just went all out. These, these uh, cinnamon buns, these work on, oh, it's just going to be, going to be delicious. So make sure you're, you're attending that. Uh, Next event is on the twelfth. We have the Take Me Out to the Ball Game event, uh, which I think that's what the, the picture is right right there. Is that right, Paula? It sure is. That's the Turlips and joining. Um, we did one for opening day, and we um, for this one we were playing the LA Dodgers, and we're gonna have some delicious brats. And last time somebody suggested, which I was so ashamed of myself, I didn't think of it. We're going to have some garlic fries because oh, yeah. what is a Seattle baseball game without the beautiful <laughs> aroma of garlic fries? That's right. That's right. We need it's those. It's going to be great. Yeah, it's going to be delicious. So be sure to check out MTL and you can buy your ticket there. Yeah, it's once again another really great event. Socially distanced. You can sit and watch the game. Just relax a little bit, which is really good. Uh, SSL. SSL Sightseers, they've got their next trip in uh, in May. We're heading to Snoqualmie, right? Uh, May fifteenth. What is some of the itinerary on that one? Yeah, so May fifteenth, we're going to Snoqualmie. I am so excited. We're gonna go look at the falls. If you have not been before, it's kind of one of those unique elements of living in the Pacific Northwest. It's the evergreen trees around there and then the waterfall. It's just beautiful. There's some walking trails right there. There's a great coffee shop right there. So we're going to have our first stop at the falls and then we are going to explore the town of Snoqualmie. They have an awesome main street, stores of every kind that you can think of. Um, there's breweries, there's tasting rooms, there's great independent restaurants. And then we're going to finish up the day uh, by going on the Snoqualmie Railroad Tour, which is a round trip, railroad trip. Um, and we are going to go through North Bend, see those beautiful Pacific Northwest sites, see the falls from a cool, unique angle. Um, I'm really excited. And then if you want on the way home, there's also a really fun casino right there. So if you want to choose <laughs> your own is. adventure on the way home, Snoqualmie <laughs> Casino is an awesome one. It is, and uh, I grew up kind of right in the Snoqualmie area, so I uh, played a lot of soccer in Snoqualmie Valley, we would call it, and um, so yeah, it's good to, good to go back to the stomping grounds, excited to have that. I did want to kind of mention a couple of sneak peeks, a couple of things we're working on, and uh, we're actually going to be advertising here in the near future for volunteers uh, to help us out, but we're going to do, in June, we're going to be offering a chopped competition and uh, so Paul is going to be posting um, 
uh, pretty soon. We're going to ask you to kind of submit a, a, a recipe that you are a big fan of that you've produced. And, um, and so you're going to compete against the chef. Chef Dino is going to be there and you're going to come in and make your dish in front of everyone. And uh, Dino's going to make his dish as well. And uh, we'll have a little chopped competition. So it should be a friendly competition. It's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, we haven't done one of these in the past. So it's going to be new. Uh, Dino and I have done them in the, in, at other clubs. And so we're excited to, to kind of start those off here uh, at Seven Summits Lodge. But it uh, should be a blast. Like I said, look for Paula's posting on that. Uh, she's going to look for volunteers and for recipes. Um, and, and then from there, we're going to kind of uh, create dishes uh, and create the secret item, uh, secret ingredient from that. So uh, stay tuned for that. Uh, we're also going to be posting a, um, asking for anyone that wants to go on a salmon fishing trip. Um, a salmon fishing starts, you know, July, maybe into August a little bit uh, over in Westport. And so uh, we're going to start seeing if there's a, uh, an interest in that and going over there. Uh, either for a one day or maybe a two day trip or something and uh, see if anybody wants to charter a boat and, and go have fun. I, I know I've done that a bunch of times with my dad and uh, have a lot of uh, faith and, and uh, respect for uh, some of the companies out there that have done really well for us. And so I uh, would love to show that off. If you've never gone salmon fishing on the uh, Pacific ocean, it, it's quite a blast. So uh, look for that. If you're interested in that, we'll probably, uh, start with emails to see how many people are interested and then uh, maybe have a meeting to see what days work best and stuff for that. So uh, look for that information. It should be coming out pretty soon. General manager update. Uh, you know, we, we did post a GM update uh, last weekend um, and, and really just kind of highlighting all the stuff that we're working on. Um, really proud of the team for the pool maintenance program, um, the annual maintenance, how well that went how smooth uh, Matthew's team did an awesome job with that. Um, and really the transition with Paula as she's been promoted and getting through all, all the challenges she's had and, and reorganizing and reinventing uh, all the fun stuff. So we're excited about that. And just looking ahead, you know, things are, things are challenging. Uh, COVID is difficult and, and unpredictable. And, uh, you know, we, we continue to battle with, you know, changes and phases and all, all the many restrictions that go in place. So uh, proud of the team for staying flexible and, and ebbing and flowing when they need to, to make sure that uh, that things are going well and that we're still providing a great service for, for you. So uh, proud of everyone, proud of the team and uh, looking forward to easing into summertime here and, and uh, getting all that stuff dialed in. One Day University, uh, as we continue to talk, great program. Love the lectures, love the online seminars, uh, very interactive. Uh, remember Doug and I's favorite one, the Tiger Woods one's coming up here in a couple of days. So excited to watch that and, and uh, get a little details on that. Uh, I missed the crossword puzzle one. That was the one I really wanted to watch. Uh, so hopefully I can uh, try and see if I can find a recording of that one. Cause I thought that one was pretty cool, but, um, but really great. You know, like I said, professors from all around the country, from, prestigious uh, uh, colleges and universities and uh, they're doing online lectures. It's really, really slick. Member led clubs, uh, Paula, we've got, uh, looks like intermediate ceramics coming up, kicking off. Yep, so intermediate ceramics started this week. Um, we had a couple of people come out for it. We're really excited. Mel's excited to get back to working with everyone. We will be opening up a beginner series once we're, I think once we're in phase three. Okay. We might have lost Paula there. Uh, yeah, I know they're many, looking at- uh, people. Um, okay. So be sure to sign up for that intermediate ceramics on MTL as we do have limited occupancy, but the space is ready for you. And then make sure you're watching out for that beginner series as soon as it's safe to do so. We have water babes and dews starting up. Uh, Sherry Custer, so excited. She's wonderful. They've been in there getting their water aerobics on. I've just, between that and the people in the gym every day, I'm just constantly wondering what I'm doing with all of my time because I'm just not as active as all of you. And I really need to get better. Uh, but so water babes and dews is reactivating. We're so excited. 
Quilters of Trilogy will be meeting on site um, and there's lots more clubs going on. We have Genealogy Club, we have Menoir and Women Are starting. Lots of great stuff coming out. So make sure you're watching FTL for that. And just a quick little plug, we got Bike Club next uh, Thursday. Oh, they Jason, are going I think you to... cut out there for a minute. Oh, we've got Bike Club next uh, Thursday. Um, uh, the Jason, May 6th. I can't hear you very well. Jason! I don't, I don't know if it's me or if it's you, Paula. Um, so anyways, we've got, uh, like I said, we do have uh, Bike Club next week. Uh, Thursday, May 6th, they're going to the Ice Cream Social down on Tacoma Waterfront. So we look forward to uh, having them uh, head out there. That's always a big group. So make sure you register for that. We're going to meet at the club. Remember that. We always meet and start at the club. Valerie will be back for that. I think she's going to miss today's bike ride, but she'll be uh, she'll be back and ready for the May 6th one. Uh, drive and Take Tuesdays, we're, we're just going to kind of go through these. We've got uh, ribs coming up for drive and take Tuesdays. Um, and then baked with, you know, baked beans and potato wedges, slaw, peach, peach cobbler. Um, and, uh, uh, so remember drive and take on Tuesdays, great family meal, easy to pick up. Um, team does a really good job executing that. Um, so we're excited to have that. And then SSL site fears, like we talked about going into Snoqualmie, uh, we're trying to plan tunes right now. Uh, we've got some cool ideas. Um, we're trying to pick one of them. <laughs> you guys probably, Paula and I have got like two or three options. We're like, we can go here, we can go here, we can go here. Um, so we're trying to make sure that they're the best weather appropriate ones. Um, and uh, and so we'll, we'll have to figure that out. And then uh, pet stock, as we've been talking about. Um, pet stock is going... Um, once again, we did the pet parade. We're still asking for donations. So there's a box up at the concierge desk. And if you'd like to uh, participate in that, just go ahead and drop drop items off that you believe are going to be good for pets and also for their handlers. You know, there's a lot at the uh, shelters that need, um, you know, just uh, normal products for themselves, such as, you know, gloves and, and uh, wipes and things like that. Lodge lunch box. Yum. Lodge one foot. Yeah, yum. Do you want to talk about this? Because you you've actually seen uh, seen this dish. We've done this dish before. I sure, and I've actually tasted this, this dish, and it is phenomenal. It is the lamb gyro. It is so good. That pita bread and this ziki. Oh, it's just it's so good. My mouth is literally watering thinking about it. And who wants one at nine eighteen a.m.? I do. Um, the other option is the couscous salad, which was also delicious. If you want a little bit of a lighter option, both of those are phenomenal. You can order those until Tuesday at noon on the Mantle website. Perfect. Trilogy tip of the week. We're going to talk about Explorer 52. So let me switch my yeah. screen over here and uh, I'll try and see if I can pull it up on here. Let's see. Here we go. Um, so uh you log into mytrilogylife.com as usual if you go over here to the more fun stuff you click on that and it's going to give you all the cool things we do in national programming but if you go over here to explore 52 which is really 52 uh day trips or 52 trips that you can do so one a week is really the the idea there and then scroll down to don't miss your adventure to leavenworth and um paul you want to talk a little bit about leavenworth i might be missing paula so let me uh i'll put it up we lost paula so uh anyways leavenworth awesome place uh up there in the stevens pass area uh for those that have not been there before uh great area a little bavarian town i wish there was a picture on here there's no picture on here, but little Bavarian town and um, just a lot of fun to do up there. You know, they got a little putt putt golf. They got great shopping. They put in some really good restaurants lately, um, beer, breweries, wineries. Um, there is a ton of stuff to do. And then they got a little river that kind of runs through the town. 
So you can uh, uh, float the river. They've got uh, lodging on the river. Um, in the winter time, uh, they've got a huge winter festival up there. The whole Bavarian town gets decorated in Christmas uh, and holiday lights. It is the awesome experience in December. We're, we're trying to plan a trip for the SSL sightseers uh, to there in, uh, in December. But, uh, you know, January, they have the ice festival where they have ice carvings all throughout. Um, just a lot of cool things that they do up in Leavenworth. And uh, it's, you know, it's a good couple hour drive, two, three hour, probably three hour drive from the club. And, but it's a beautiful drive up the mountains. Like I said, up through Stevens Pass, you can also go kind of the other way from the other side of the mountains, but uh, it is really cool experience. Great little town. Great to spend the weekend there. Um, a lot of great lodging. Uh, lo like I said, a lot of great restaurants and great shopping. So uh, check out uh, Leavenworth when you get time. Or you just register for SSL sightseers when we go, because we are definitely going to go at some point. So um, heading back to our, our uh, slideshow here, uh, we do have, uh, you know, have come to the end. You know, that, that's kind of all of it today. You know, like I said, we're going through a bunch of stuff. We're planning the summer right now. Once again, if you have ideas and you have um, things that you think would work really well, um, for our members, then, then let us know, you know, that's, we, when we do the surveys out in, in January and February for lifestyle, this is, we get all the ideas from that. So then we take that, uh, that survey and, and create the whole programming for the rest of the year. So we reference that a lot. And, um, yeah, that's, what's really driving kind of the SSL sites years right now, because day trips was a huge item on there. So, um, uh, we're excited by that. We're glad for the participation. I know, no, Kwame, I think it's only got one or two spots left. So uh, it's filling up fast, which is really good. Um, you know, Mantle Team's doing awesome. We're, we're really excited to, you know, just keep moving forward. And, and hopefully, I don't think we'll move to phase two in the next announcement, but uh, hopefully the next one will be back into phase three and on the upward trend of, you know, getting back to normal. So anyways, everyone, we, re we really appreciate it. Uh, we got a lot of work, a lot of stuff going on at the club this weekend. So hope to see everyone there. Everyone enjoy the weekend. We'll talk to you later. Bye.